Hey guys, I'm Simitoscan. Welcome back to the Game of Thrones. On the last episode, we did some stuff and. Just, we're just fixing to go and pick our dude. Pick the guy who's going to hey, be with us. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. You've been spying on me? Are you prepared to name your sentinel. Uh, what's your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. Oh, yeah? It may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. Yeah. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery. We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Hmm. Bam! Just hit you with some of that freaking sense. I want to go pick my, my Lord, dude. Are you now ready to name your sentence? <laughs> that slow turn he's doing is like, uh, hey. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. I am ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Sweet. Convene them. So I can pick my homie in front of everybody. Or not. Maybe something's going to happen and they're all going to die right here. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, this hair. This little tuft of, tuft of hair. Where is it? All right. Hey, guys. Uncle. War dude. What's up? This is a very small council. Two people on it. Three, I guess, hey, counting Mister. And my I mom. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Hey, I never talked to my mom. I forgot to. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Shut up. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Look at him. Can I just pick my mom? Alright. It's you. Here you go, buddy. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done well, Lord. Of course, Duncan, you remember that. Regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. Oh, I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your sentinel. You should hear from him first. Oh my god, guys, get over it. You're just big the babies. The sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is. And have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Hmm. Ha, huh, the choices. I don't think it's really going to matter either way. But, uh, how to save the people? I mean, we could fight, but we don't have that many. They just 
crush us, probably. Mom says we bargain that everybody wants our ironwood, but they need us for the ironwood, so that just makes us skill diplomacy. Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Or boo freaking who. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, yeah. let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Mm. Uh, we'll make him wait, whatever. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. <laughs> We're screwed either way, guys. It's okay. We're good. My lord. You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Stop questioning me all the time. Help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? I don't know, I haven't met him yet. Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister, and we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Hmm, interesting. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you. No. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Mm. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher sounds like the man. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but we you need, need someone, someone who is standing beside you. Well, if he comes here and knocks everybody's teeth out. Hey, buddy. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. At least somebody will survive what's about to happen. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. You'll probably do it anyway. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. That means Hear there's a bunch of trees. Us, and she may be able to help us yet. 
Mira. Oh yeah, is that the crazy queen lady? With the sun that's just sucking on her boob when she's like, or he's like freaking 15 years old or something? Malaysia. Spy man! You. Spy man. Begging your pardon, m'lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, m'lady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. Yeah. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. You're one of them. Which is why you must trust me, m'lady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Mm-hmm. Wonder who that would be. Maybe the eunuch dude, whatever his name was. Baron or something like that? Ah, I remember all these guys' names. What are you looking at? What are you checking me out? You get out of here. With your butt going through your sash. Uh oh. Got loud for a second. Where that bloody hell is Duncan? Now ah, fuck him if he's angry. I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. Mm. But the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Let's do it. He's gonna be like, why are you making me meet you at the gate? And I'm like, cause your other dude that came was freaking crazy. Oh, it's him. Yeah. Something wrong with your gate? Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Thank you, my lord. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Hmm. <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Where are you going? Just looking around? <clears throat> looking around, checking everything out? Quite the army you have. Lord yeah, he's Boston. just sizing me up. Very impressive. Guess he's getting ready to take over. Because he wants to be a lord.
Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. No, you're not, so I'm Perhaps not going to kneel to you. is what you meant to say. That's exactly what See? I meant to say. He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields... Chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead, one Bolton. Yet your man lived. Our men are dead, yours lived. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The White Hills had Ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name. Of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Durr. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood. And we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace and make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Hmm. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. 
<laughs> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Yeah, if I had a knife, I'd stab you in the throat right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I got stabbed instead. But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Got him! Ethan! My lord! Oh, no. I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I, so I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, However, on. the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. Oh, no! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan. Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Please stop! Mm. Don't take me! You will not take Stop him! Help me, Ryan! Please! Let no. me go, Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Poor Ethan. Oh, my son. Got him! I'm not really, I'm not surprised. I figured somebody was gonna die there. Your story has begun! Next time on the Game of Thrones! <gasps> Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. Yeah. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again. Our house will not fall. Well, Ryan, gonna, we will be ready. He gonna do it big. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Rasher. Are you prepared for what might happen? We gonna stab him. Yeah, it's a good setup. This Game of Thrones, people gotta die. You and 47.6% stay with Bowen. Uh, that's the beginning if you went with your little buddy or if you went with the uh, the Lord dude. You and 73% swore loyalty to the king. Well, yeah, that's kind of what you want to do. 19% took Eric's fingers. 38% picked Royland as Sentinel. You and 36% met Ramsey at the gate. Well, other than the king thing, I'm in the, the minority of what happened to <laughs> a lot of people. But... That's just how it's got to be. Yeah. I, eh, I didn't really mind that much about Ethan dying because it's, it's actually kind of the best case scenario that could happen for them story-wise is him dying and that stirring stuff up real bad and uh, the guy coming back and being like, you killed my bro, dog, and then just like slapping faces. Yeah. And then it, it gives more reason for the... The people at, uh, I keep on wanting to say the capital, wherever it is, I can't remember what it's called. All the queen people are the next to be queen, more pressure for them to help and other people to help. If that wouldn't have happened, then they'd probably just be practically slaves, providing half of the ironwood kind of stuff. Oh well. That was cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, let's see what's happening when you continue to show the credits. Probably. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. And we'll see you next time. Stay toasty, my friends.